beef is with casting over Shotty and Hoff over some other shit. Right. It's in the book. And was it all as simple as Casanova just feeling like no. this? Okay, so this is Listen, before it was, it was, 6 ix 9 was even a thing? It was one. Cass, you know, like, during that time, Cass was calling me. You know, I went out with him a few times. And it was more so like, Cass, Shotty, and Hall got a personal beef. Right. Now, Shotty got Big Nine. He could use Big Nine as a puppet. Of course, Big Snine is what? He's rapping. Mm. Shotty is a street guy. Shotty can't get on no mic and rap about shitting on boy. So now he it's all perfect timing. Got Big Snine. Me and Cass got personal beef. He used Big Snine to come at Cass. That's why it was so easy for them to dead the beef. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So now Shotty used Big Snine to come at Cass. It's easy for them to dead the beef. But the beef is not there with Shoddy, Hog, and Cass. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, when I before I, I went away, I had the beef to a minimum. But the minute I was gone, it's back up. Shoddy don't have no more shooters. He want to be the more or less the businessman now. <clears throat> so who he called for a shooter? He called for Banger. Mm. He gassed Fu Banger up. Yo, listen, we going to do Tradeway Entertainment. Full gas. He's ready to go all out. He's suicide bomber right now. There's a lot of people that if you put that dream in the head, you can be a part of this label, blah, blah, blah. They'll shoot something for they, you. They, they, <laughs> they, they, yo, they, they, yo, yo, they'll put aside yo, everything that was keeping them yo, from shooting somebody for the most of their life, and they'll be like, oh, nope. They, with, they ready. Listen, yeah. he's in Connecticut. It's easy to see how this unfolds. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, And this is why I'm glad I'm here to read, because it's been a long time. But we're going to stay on track real quick before we end it. Mm. Listen. He got food banging out here, but Shotty ain't the shooter no more. He's trying to be, you know, he's trying to really like, uh, you know, he bring food. That's why the book, look, they go food right there. He bring food down. Food pull that stun off at the ball clays. Bow, fire one shot. Now it's lit. But all that is because Shotty and Cass got street beef. Mm. They had street beef, or whatever you want to call it. Right. It was never with Cass and 6 9 but the cast, he um, was he. He didn't like six nine. Mm. Why would he like six nine? Yeah, why would he like him? Cast is a blood. You got real bloods back in a fake dude that got all kind of charters as blood. You know what I'm saying? He's getting. Cause this is what Cast saying, yo, bro. Niggas, and I, this is right at the exact time that Cast is really trying to right. make it as a rapper. And, yeah. Right. And this is when Cast is like, yo, you know, Cast is like, yo, how do, you, how do you like, you know, he's he's he's. he's you know, he's like enthusiastic over this shit, man. You know what I mean? So he calls me. He, you know, he's calling me. And I'm like, listen. At first, they wanted to shoot the, the 31 seconds with Big Snot. And I'm like, come on. Like, I want to fight. <laughs> Cass and 6 9 No, him, the other other big homies. Oh, they okay. want to fight. I'm like, come on. I'm like, nah, man. That can't go down. I'm like, you're not fighting them. Right. I'm like, we sitting here in this, what we call powwow. I'm in a powwow with all these... They apes, you know what I mean? You know, cat, you know, they, 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 they like apes. So, you know, I'm, I'm by myself, man. You know what I mean? These guys looking at me like, yo, you Billy. You know, I, just because I'm blood doesn't mean that these guys is looking at me like, but I'm with Cass. You know, I'm holding Cass down, so they got to accept me. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know what I mean? It's like you, but I'm like, listen, don't look at who I, what I am. I'm in, I'm holding boy down because right now he's going through it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And this is y'all bag right here. So y'all need to make sure y'all bag is good. Don't matter who got to be around him. No matter what set I'm from. Mm. As many times I've been places and I don't like taking pictures with, 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 with people that I'm holding down. I don't like that because you don't need to know who I am. You know, if somebody on the side do some freak shit and take a picture, I can't stop them. Mm. You know what I mean? But I don't like to be seen, you know. But there have been times, you know, like I got, you know, with the situation with Cass. You know, we had to get on stage, and I don't really want to get on stage because I don't really want to be even that. I mean, like, I don't like to really be seen like that. It's a different kind of attention. Like, I, got, yeah. I got legal problems always. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really good for me, but I'm here. But, like, a situation with, um, with, 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 with they, didn't, they, they, they didn't like each other. You know what I mean? They, they got real street beef. Mm -hmm. They ain't no... Ain't no hip hop shit. But when you got street beef with an individual that's rapping, 
how you get at them? Mm. You got to have a mouthpiece. Yeah. Six Nine was the mouthpiece to come at Cass for Shotty and Hoff. That's how that situation took place. And then, of course, you know, other people from my set, like Nuke, he then tried to rob Cass over several times. Mm. You know what I mean? So, never really had a good relationship. You know what I mean? But, um, Harv and Cass once had a good relationship. But things transpired would make that go sour. Mm -hmm. And this is why 6 9 was like the mouthpiece for Shadi and Harv at the time to come at Cass. That's why it was so easy for them to daddy. But yeah. I was at, I mean, they was going to hurt Cass one time. Oh, I right. had to stop it. You stopped it. At Cityscapes. It was Cass and Javante who was there. I got the video. And um, they pulled up. I didn't know they was outside. My nephew came in and told me. He'd be with a lot of rappers too. He said, yo, them niggas was outside and they got the they got the poles. So you know, I'll go outside. I'm like, yo, what's popping? I'm like, yo, we gonna leave him where he's staying. I said, oh, come on, yo. I'm I'm with him. Right. I'm with him. Like, really? And you know they pissed off because they can't. This was Shotty said. Shotty said, you gonna crush your pups. Shotty said, you gonna crush your pups. Passing over. I said, don't do that to me, homie. And I and I and, and I heard the hurt in his voice. But I'm like, Shotty is bigger than this, man. Mm. You know what you're doing ain't right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, he like you go crush your pups. A cast, homie. And I'm like, it ain't about crushing my pups, it's about what's fair, homie. Mm. It's still protocol to follow, homie. And this ain't protocol, man. In terms of just if somebody's going to get done, it's got to be approved. It's got to be done the right way. And is it, is it just because Cass is a blood or is it just in general? In regards to what went by with Odin. In terms of like somebody just deciding that somebody has got to die. Like was, yeah, was like, the, the part of the protocol, is that just because he's a, he's a dude or is it because he's a blood? Because at the time, Harv and Cass... Hawk, Kaz put something together and Harv and Shotty made a move, right? Mm -hmm. When they went to make the move, it was like the other side returned fire on them. So they thought that boy lined them up. Mm -hmm. So now, if you think and I lined you up, it can't be no squashing. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? It don't matter what you are. Because at this point, you put my life in danger. I went to make a move on your behalf. When I go to make the move, these guys are already on point. So where you think me and you stand now? You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So now, this is where the, the beef is in. Shoddy and Cass squashed the beef for the sake of 6ix9ine, right? But Hall wasn't feeling it. That's why at that video shoot, 50 Cent, and who else? It was um, 50 Cent, Casanova, and 6 9 right? Right. Get the strap. Right. You see, on the strength, Shotty dead's the beef. But Harv is like, yo, how you dead in the beef when you know what the real situation is about? So this is why now Harv is gunning for Shotty everywhere. Mm. You sign with Boy in, because you sign with Boy because of the bag. Right. Now you're getting close to 50. Because I brought Crippy in the picture. You understand what I'm saying? Before all this, Crippy and Shoddy are robbers. That's what they do. You hear me? They don't get money. They take money. Mm -hmm. You got niggas who get money. You got niggas who take money. They take money. So I brought these two together. They don't have no relationship. Crippy is a blood. I mean, excuse me. Right. Crippy is a crit. His name ain't Crippy. His name is Fahim. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying, and I say that to say, this is how this came together. When you see him doing the security with Big Nine, Big Nine ain't no Crippy. I brought Crippy from Lexington. That's my block. Lexington between No Strength and Tom, uh, Marcy. Mm -hmm. I had that block since I've been a young kid under the crew I come from. Follow me now? Yeah. So Fahim is from that block. I bring Fahim to the dog pound and meet Shadi. I ain't got nothing to do with y'all niggas business, man. You know, you my homie, you crit. I got a lot of 
I got I got more crip friends than blood friends. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if I wasn't blood, I'd be crip. You know what I'm saying? So I bring these two together, and Shadi Shadi is a good guy. You know what I'm saying? He don't got no discrimination of what you are. You know what I mean? Mm. Shadi trying to get money. He trying to take money. You know, you know, this is what they do. So I bring them together, and what happens now? Fahim and Fahim got a relationship with who? 50. Because of 50 top, once top security is Fahim brother. So this is how you see 6ix9ine become close with 50. It's because of the relationship I brought together with Fahim and Shadi. Brings Shadi up to 50. And this is how all this go, go around. And they were best friends for a little bit there before he got locked up, right? Who? Uh, 50 and 69. Yeah, because, you know, now Shadi trying, trying to get in. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he, like, 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 like he need to get in. So he see, oh, five is tight with fifth. I got fifth on board to do security. That's going to get me in with uh, G-Unit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So this it was it was it was the stepping stone, and that's how um, Shadi was able to bring Big Snod to fifth, and they could build a little relationship or whatever they did. I was gone at the time, but I seen the video. I seen the video when Shadi's in the studio, and he like, yo, I get all. You know what I'm saying? Like you heard me say, this ain't I. I robbed for all this. And he telling you, he telling Fifth, like, he telling Takashi, oh, you about to leave me now? You understand what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. Takashi was trying to make a move now. Because it was inevitable that he was just going to have to leave behind all his street connects and just have, like, real music industry managers right. and it all was that kind after of shit, he right? Went to, it was after he went to, um, he did that video out in Paris with the American flag jacket. That's when things change. Really? The, um, Pillin, what's the, what's the company? The Clover Line? Uh, um, P L P, P. I forget. What's the clover line, man? Um, they got the P's. It's one of them European lines they got out. Um, it was a fashion show six and nine did. That's when things. He did a fashion show. I yeah, remember he got the American flag jacket on, his head thrown back in the rainbow. Oh, okay. That was the turn of. That's when it got serious. In terms of where his mind state changed on who yeah, he wanted to be it's around? Like now it's Paris. Right. Is the you see when he had the, the motorcycle helmet on? Mm. It's over after that. Right. It's over. Because people forget that like when, when Six Nine like wanted to get associated with the Bloods and everything, everybody forgets that at that point he had barely left New York. So to him, that really is like the upper echelon of what he's aspiring to be down with. If he had been around the world more like once he did start to be around the world more and stuff he started to realize like oh it, it ain't about being tough or respected in new york it's just about getting money i could right. and for him he could give or take you know for a lot of you guys you're, you're born in it and you're stuck with it for him it's like he adopted that shit so mm-hmm. he definitely saw that oh i could just walk away from all this once he went to paris and seeing what it was it was like yo it's too much right here for me but mm-hmm. you already made your bed you know what I'm saying? You sold your soul. I don't know if it's too early to jump ahead on this, but how do yes. you feel about uh, all the, the behavior and the overall persona that he's taken on no, since you know, he got out? You know what's truthfully, man? I haven't even watched him. Oh, okay. I watched him in bits and bits. I know, I know everything he's going to do. Mm. You see his video, got the bulletproof vest on. His behavior is everything like, we, put it like this, right? If you see his behavior and you see my behavior, when it comes to entertainment, you'll see the comparisons. You know what I mean? And it wasn't that, I didn't take no, like, listen, it's business, bro. I don't know if you did the rape. I don't know whatever you did, but that's not my concern. I don't look at a person for what they done. I'm just saying it wouldn't be wise enough for you to be repping this with these kind of sanctions against you. It's going to bring problems. You're not a bad kid. I, I mean, you, you might have did some bad things. That doesn't make you a, this totally bad guy. So it, it, it wasn't that I wasn't, it was what you was doing that I was against because you know you didn't want none of this. This wasn't the plan in the dog pound. Mm. We've been in the dog, you wasn't with this. Now, overnight, 
Because I don't know what the hell you and Shotty was talking about. Now you want to become blood. And now all these other guys is calling who? They're calling me. They're calling the big home. Mm. What, what, what's up? Why, why, what, what these guys doing? What you mean what they doing? They, 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 <laughs> they going for what they know. Mm. Because mean, they don't understand the gang culture in New York. Right. You but, know, and that's, that, that, that's another thing we need to touch on. Hey, go ahead, speak. I'm well, with you. Uh, okay, but talk about the, the gang culture in New York. And do you feel like it's been fundamentally affected by this? I mean, some, some would say that the gang shit in New York right now is crazier than it's ever been. Okay, I say right this, right? This is where it goes wrong. As for the Bloods, right, in New York, is a prison game. They don't even know the meaning or the history behind Bloods. They don't understand why Bloods came in place. It's to protect the surroundings. Where it started out in LA, when the Bloods and the Crips, it was to hold your territory, your neighborhood. Mm. You can't come in my neighborhood and rape my sister. You understand what I'm saying? When the cess was started, it started from where we from. If you from the jungle, I could trace you back. Mm -hmm. That's Baby Wacko. He from the jungle. That's Baby Wack. That's Big Wack. That's Little Wack. The niggas from the jungle. Ain't nobody from um, Inglewood part of the jungle. They part of that set, they from an Inglewood, right? Mm -hmm. New York, you got all these burgles and different guys on one set. Everybody's so close together. <laughs> you got, because you got dudes from the Bronx and, and Queens on the same set. How is that? That's why I never understood it. So you, you feel like a lot of the gang shit ends up becoming basically more like fashion because it's not as deeply rooted in something that's very real like it is right. in LA. And that's and that's exactly what it is. It's fashion in New York. It wasn't never it's impossible to have three three people from different neighborhoods on this set. That don't go like that. Mm. Cuz you got to be able to be traced. When you go to the penitentiary or you go somewhere and they say you say I'm um, Blah, they blah from this set. And they know, oh, you from. But in New York, it ain't like that. And this is where it be. See, let me say this. And like I said it before, New York had different kind of gangs. They didn't have this, this kind of, of a monster. They had the guard bodies and, 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 and um, you know, a lot of these guys was dope fiends. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And when this gang pandemic came to Rackers Island, they felt it was, you know, cool to turn what they call, because with the guard bodies, you got a thing called lessons. They tried to bring a civilized culture into a savage culture. Bloods is a gang. They not no religion group. They not, no, they not, it's not a religion group. You might have some that practice religion basis, but that's not a religion group. It's a gang culture. But now you bring, you trying to bring lessons. Bloods don't got no lessons. But this is New York stuff with the whole guard body converting over to being bloods because it came a prison thing. Mm -hmm. So now you got these guys from New York and it's, it, you know, they from different sets on one set. No, it's not like that. If you from Tompkins Projects, then it's supposed to be Tompkins Projects bloods. Mm -hmm. And everybody's from there. So you know, oh, I know where you're from. But you got a guy from here, from, it's all over. So right. that's why I say this game coach in New York is not, it, it, it never been, I never took it as, you know, being real. Because again, I know when I came home from Rackers Island, it was crazy. Like, nah. Do you believe, or does it matter to you to be a blood anymore? You've seen so many people fall off, turn informants, turn whatever. That right. it's, it it has to disillusion you to right. some point, I'm, right? I'm, I'm not. It's going to always be I, I love the homies, especially the homies in California. I love the homies in Little Rock. I love the homies all over. 
but I, I can't, I'm not, I can't be, like, it's in me. I'm here, I'm tatted up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I ain't going nowhere, you know what I'm saying? I, I got officially, you know, I started the dog paw. You know what that is, right? Mm. Well, That's no, the three but... dots on the arm. Oh, okay, yeah. The girls get on the leg, I started that. Like, I can't go nowhere and you go mistake me from somebody else. You gonna know, who is he? Right? Mm -hmm. You gonna say, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a part of me because I was like damn near, I've been in, since I've been a kid. I really had to put in work to become this. So it's different. I have really gang guys like Crips who I really got love for. You have a lot of bloods who got love for a lot of Crips. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like those that's really rooted to this. So it's like, it's not that I don't, that I just, I just, I'm older now. I'm older and I have things that need to be done and it's not about, now I'm here to, I want to show the kids that, that's why I promote three straight lanes. Go straight, stay straight, keep straight. Because so I want to show the kids, the lanes is for the penitentiary, success, and the graveyard. Mm. And I, I promoted because I, could, I went down both. I had a life sentence and I died in the streets. And now I'm on the road to success. Mm. So I can show you all. I can show you the pitfalls. So it's like now I just want to just show. I want to show those like, let me, let me, let me, um, let me, before you think about this or I can't tell you not to do something unless I could put something in place that's going to substitute what you're about to do. I'm not going to say, yo, my God, stop selling whatever you're doing if I can't say, yo, listen, I got a better gig for you paying this right now. Mm. If you deny it because you're being greedy to do something else and I can't be afforded that. So all I could do is like give the best advice I can to the youth. Like, listen, before you think about going down this road, before you think about getting in the video with 100 gang members, understand these are the circumstances. Before you talk about you caught a body a week ago, understand who listening to that. Mm. You hear me? Because there's somebody with some power in some kitchen somewhere and they hear that song and then the little ones hear that song and that becomes a problem because the wrong ears is hearing it. So before you start doing things, understand sometimes it's good to use a road map. Mm. And if it's free, why not use it? If you like this clip, go watch the full interview on No Jumper.